scientists discovered ancient DNA from many years ago. Originally from a time also known as the Ice Age, they have resurrected this DNA and created a strong, slow, resistant to the elements, disease, damage, learning, monobrowed, hulking, heavy-jawed beings that are ready to take and receive a hit equally. Neanderthals. Known to be slower in speed and wit, they are excellent survivors of the dangerous rim worlds. Looking much like their baseliner descendants, it could be difficult to decipher these dangerous dullards from a distance, but if you happen to fall into a fight with one, be prepared, they don't go down easily. But first, what would you like to see in the next DLC from RimWorld? Let me know in the comments below. Now before we start, these fellas aren't actual Neanderthals like you may be thinking. They're baseliners that were genetically modified to have similar looks and genes to the original Neanderthals. There also seems to be a lot of cautionary tales to Neanderthal raids destroying colonies early and even mid-game, as these brutes just don't stop, so be careful. They've been noted for their strength in being able to fight scythers in one vs one combat. I've got some more tips in the analysis section after the pros and cons. But first let's talk about their strengths and weaknesses. Strengths. Strong immunity. To help recovery rates against diseases, they uh, recover at a rate of 110% instead of the usual 100% of baseliners. Pretty good. Cold and heat tolerant. They're happier to be in hot and cold environments, improved max comfortable temperatures as seen here. Strong melee damage. We see this trait in dirt moles, Itarkin and sanguifages too. It increases melee damage by 50%, so be careful fighting them close range. Robust. This is one of those genes that can be dangerous to come up against, reducing damage by 15%. They take more than the average baseliners. Also, you can find this gene in Itakan and Sanguifages too. Reduced pain. This being a little different to robust, and reducing pain felt by half. They will not feel pain as much, making them harder to down in combat. These boys will just keep coming. And now the weaknesses. Slow study. The genes that the Neanderthals had back in the day have reduced these genetically modified Neanderthals' intelligence, making them much learn slower, much slower, at about rate of half, teaching skills new to takes longer than. Aggressive. They're more likely to create social fights, double the likelihood actually. It also doubles the chance that if they do have a mental break, it'll be a violent one, so be careful of that. And if they're captured, the Neanderthal will actually have more prison breaks. Uh, they have less patience to stay in captivity than others. Aggressive is also found in Itakin, Wasters, and Sanguifages. Slow Runners. This is equivalent to that of the Slowpoke trait, moving at a deficit of 0.2 cell slower per second. Just to put that in perspective, it's nearly 96% of the base lighter speed. Not really that much slower. They're also pretty poor in skills such as shooting, social, and intelligence, which I think is kind of obvious being Neanderthals. Okay, now let's take a look into Neanderthals and analyse the situation. The Neanderthal-only tribes don't really research. With poor skills and intelligence and slow study, it's almost not worth researching at all. However, don't underestimate their abilities. They are a dangerous enemy. Reduced pain will make Neanderthals take twice as much damage before being downed by pain shock, which is usually the best way to reduce numbers in dangerous raids. In addition, they have Robust, which effectively gives them 33% more health in any situation. And Strong Malay, these thick boys will just keep marching towards you, although a much slower march, and give you a smackdown. Neanderthals have a much higher combat power score of 1.6. This is like a raid of 100 baseliners being reduced to 63 Neanderthals only. Still a terrifying number. I was reading that a lot of people struggle with the unfortunate Neanderthal raid in the early game, even in the mid game. So here are a few tips to help you with that. 
They seldom come equipped with ranged weapons, so if you can craft a few bows or buy a few guns, you could get all your colonists to kite them around, luring them and taking pot shots. Although, if one of your colonists is wearing a flak vest, they will be slowed down to a movement of 4.48 cells a second, which is pretty close to the Neanderthal's 4.4 movement speed. Just for a note, a baseliner's base movement speed is 4.6. You can always make a trustworthy trap corridor and hope they hit enough traps and go down, but good luck with that. Molotovs are always friendly uh, helper. You could try and burn them down from a distance, but again, be careful. Another thing to keep in mind is to manage a colony's wealth. If you see a few rare resources like jade, gold, plasteel, or anything else that's worth something to traders, then it's also worth something to raiders alike. Consider leaving it in the wall until you have a use for it, and if you mine it out and keep it in a stockpile, it will raise your wealth, the colony's wealth making you a bigger target for stronger raids. And if you are looking for them for some reason, you can do so here. Of course, you can find Neanderthals in Neanderthal tribes, but also rarely in civil and rough outlander unions, maybe even in a gang or two, or working as pirates. The weird one is seeing them in the Shattered Empire. Little bit unique. And thank you very much for watching. If you haven't checked out the other videos, you can. I've nearly done all of the Xenotypes and only the big one left, which is Sanguifages. It's gonna be a bit of a longer video, I think, with a bit more information in it. Me Neanderthal say ooh, and wave goodbye with hand. Me happy you watch cave painting with me. Me looking forward to see you again. Ugh. Bye bye.